before you watch the video. Subscribe our channel. Click on the bell icon for notifications. Hi everybody, welcome to Aga Math. This is Rakesh. Today we are going to learn about uh, how to find the uh, given term of uh, AP. In the before video about the progressions, we have also learned how to find the nth term. What is nth term of AP? So now I even I would like to remind you once again that the nth term of AP. It's nothing that it read as a n. Okay, so a n which is nothing that nth term of a p is nothing that a plus n minus 1 of d. So based on this, if for example, if I would like to find 7th term, it means a 7. To find 7th term, what we do? We take a 7. So a 7 means what? a plus n means number of terms. So we want the 7th term. So 7 minus 1 of d. So it equals to a plus 7 minus 1 is 6 d. So a 7th is a plus 6 d. Let me take for example a 11th. So what happened? a 11th is about, okay, so it's about a plus, in the place of n I have taken 11. So similarly in the place of n I have to substitute 11 minus 1 of d. So what it is then? It means a plus 10 d. So a 11th is a plus 10 d. So object carefully here. a 7 is a plus 6 d. a 11 is a plus 10 d. If you observe this, we can easily write uh, the remaining like for example a 15th so it's nothing that a plus 14 my mi uh, 15 minus 1 that is 14 D a 17th is nothing that a plus 17 minus 1 is 16 D a hundredth means what we do that is a plus 99 D so this is how uh, we have to understand a 15th a plus 14 d a 17th 17th 17 minus 1 that is 16 a 100th 100 minus 1 that is 99 okay so if you really uh, remember these things now let us see how to find the term of a given ip okay see here, the question is find the 30th term of ap 10 7 4 10 7 4 in this what we have to know is because a 30th we want 30th term means a 30th a 30th is nothing that a plus yes a plus 30 minus 1 that is 29 d so to find this a 30th we have to know what is a as well as what is d so remember a is always the first term of given ap so this is a so let me write that is a equals to 10 now d it means a1 here this is a2 and this is a3 so on we may get so if you would like to find d remember that d is always that is a common difference a2 minus a1 so what is a2 7 minus a1 is 10 so 7 minus 10 is minus 3 so to find a30 i knew what is a and also i knew what is d here right Remember children, whenever you want to find any term of AP like 20th term or 50th term or 100th term, whatever it may be, we have to know two things. One is, one is, what? One is A 
and another is D. Okay, one is A and another is D. Remember that A and D. So now let me substitute here. That is A thirty equals to A plus twenty nine D. A means ten plus twenty nine of minus three equals to ten plus. 29 of minus 3 becomes what? 3 nines 27 to 3 to 6. That is minus 87. Right? So it means 10 plus of minus is minus 87, which is equals to minus 77. So here a 30 earth is minus 77. Right? This is 30 earth term. Okay. Let us come with the one more example. See, find the eleventh term of AP. It means we have to know A eleventh. A eleventh is what? A eleventh equals to A plus eleven minus one. That is ten D. Right? So we to find any term, I told you right. That is, we have to know what is A and what is D. A means A one, which is the first term. So A one or A same. So here a equals to negative 3 and now here we have to find d. So d equals to what? a2 minus a1. a2 minus a1. Difference. Right? It may it also you may also take a3 minus a2, nothing wrong. Okay. Difference between two consecutive terms. Right? So minus a2 is nothing that minus 1 by 2 minus a1 is minus 3 so minus 1 by 2 plus 3 which is equals to 2 and half 3 minus half that is 2 and half so you got the d as 2 and half now we will substitute in the a 11th means a a means what the value of a is minus 3 plus 10 d d means 2 to 1 by 2 and half that is nothing that 5 by 2 so i can simplify here 2 ones to 5 times so that equals to minus 3 plus 5 5 is 25 which is equals to 22 so the 11th term of ap minus 3 minus 1 by 2 2 so on is 22 okay children this is how we find the uh, any term of the given ap let us uh, have a few more questions now let us see the next question find the 20th term from the end of ap 3 i 13 so on to 53 about these type of equations we have different methods to find out the 20th term from the end from the end means so from it means you have to come from the last two from last you have to know what is the 20th term okay so we have different methods uh, one of the easiest method uh, is like better you write this sequence in a reverse order that is 253 so on 13 8 3 ok so now it means we it will be easy to us to understand from 253 what is the 20th term so let's take that this is a1 we don't know all this uh, here you have to know what would be the 20th term we don't know how many terms these are so to know a20 a 20 is nothing that what a plus 19 D so we have to know a a is a 253 now that is 253 D D means difference between any two consecutive terms means here I can find that D is equals to 8 minus 13 which is equals to negative 5 
right which is equals to negative 5 here so now I would like to know what is a20 a20 is nothing that so a is 253 plus 19 of negative 5 so that equals to uh, 253 plus 19 of minus 5 is minus 95 right so it, it 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 means like 253 minus 95 which equals to 158 so let us see here 3 8 13 so on 253 so this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 we don't know how many terms we have and this is a nth let us we have to find what is a nth so a nth means which is the last term right so a nth is equals to a plus n minus 1 of t what is a nth 253 is equals to a which is 3 plus we have to find n right so that is n minus 1 of d same difference between two consecutive terms that is 8 minus 3 equals to 5 so here it is 5 right so uh, 253 equals to so better 3 transfer this side so it is uh, minus 3 equals to uh, 5 times n is 5n minus 5 so this 250 minus 5 transfer is at plus 5 equals to 5n so it is 255 by 5 divided by 5 equals to n so if you simplify that 5 5 is 25 5 ones so n is equals to 51 so it means there are total 51 terms so the last is a 51 okay it means the 253rd term is what a 51 so here you have to know what is a 20th term from the last right so what would be the 20th term from the last it means 51 so here we have 51 term, 51 term, right? So from back we need 20. That means you have to subtract 19 from 51. Okay, 19 from 51. Because 20th position we want. So 51 minus 19. That is 11 minus 9 is 2. And 4 minus 1 is 3. It means we have to know A32. from the, So from back, 32 second term means from the first 30 second term from the back 20th term this will be okay so whenever they ask about 20th term means 20th position we want so we we are just leaving off all the 19 okay so now a 32 means what a plus 31 d it's nothing that a means what 3 plus 31 of d is 5 so 3 plus 5 1 is 5 5 3 is 15 that is 158 right so this is the 30 second term okay thanks for watching all of you this is about the nth term of ap how to find the given terms in the next class, we'll learn more about the progressions. So keep watching Agamath. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.